Jesus is calling, he's calling today, calling your name, calling today, Jesus is calling he's tender recalling your name jesus is calling he's calling today calling your name Call He's calling, he's tenderly calling your name. Let us answer. Father God, as we come this morning, this afternoon, this evening, our friends and our families from around the world, we come to say thank you. Thank you for another Sunday. We've been treacherously dealing with storms and hurricanes throughout Georgia and throughout the world. But you, Father, continue to deliver your people. We come this morning to say thank you. Many right now are still suffering with power lines down. Many have died. But you have delivered, Father, as you always do. So we come this morning to say thank you. Thank you for your delivering power. Thank you for your healing power. Thank you for your blessing power. You continue to pour us out more blessings than we have room enough to receive. So we come this morning, Father, to say thank you. Some are still going through something right now. We ask that you heal, that you deliver them right now. In the mighty name of Yahshua, Jesus Christ the one who has more healing power in the hem of his garment than any doctor, any lawyer, any politician. We ask that you touch, that you heal, that you deliver right now in the mighty name of Yahshua, Jesus Christ. We'll be sure to give you all the victory, all the glory, and all the fame, and we claim that right now with an amen, amen, and amen. The storm has passed over. Many have suffered. Many are still suffering. But Helena, though dealt a heavy blow to those in Florida, those in tropical islands, and those here in Georgia and in different places around the world, we're all still here. So you need to thank them. You need to thank him every day of your life for delivering, for healing, for watching over you and I. I have a short message this morning, but it's going to bless your soul. You know, I've been looking at this book of Job, and I want you to continue to look at this book with me. But there's a powerful message in this book that tells us God is in the delivering business. You know, many people today are stressed out. Stress is the number one killer, the number one cause of cancer and afflictions and addictions because people are so stressed out. When God was approached 
by the angels, sons of men. He asked them, where have you been? Their answer going to and fro, back and forth across the earth to see whom they can devour, to see whom they can stress out. And God asked him, have you considered my servant, Job? And the sons of men said, he would surely curse your name if he had the struggle, the stress of the world. So they approached Job and they stressed him. Job would not curse God. I want you to remember that. No matter how much Job went through in this scripture, he did complain. And in the 38th chapter and the 39th chapter, going into the 40th chapter, God told him, how can you complain knowing who I am? Have you stretched your hand across the oceans and caused the sea to stop? Do you know who I am, Job? And you know what Job ended up saying? Let me put my hand over my mouth. Let me shut up. What Job was saying was, let me not worry. Let me be happy. God giveth and God taketh away. So the message today, my brothers and sisters, just like the songwriter says, don't worry. Be happy. Don't worry. Don't stress. Don't regress. Understand, my brothers and sisters, that we serve a God who's in the delivering business. Don't ever forget that. Don't let family, don't let friends, don't let jobs stress you out. If they attempt to do so, they are as that satanic force attempting to have you curse God. Don't do it. Tell him like Christ, get thee behind me. Continue my brothers and sisters to lean not toward the ways of this old world, but toward the ways of our father who is in heaven. Don't worry, be happy. Don't stress, regress, sit back. Let go, let God, and he will take you places you never thought you'd go. Satan wants to worry you. Satan wants to devour you with worry and hate and confusion. He's the author of confusion. He's the author of the lie. He wants to stress you. Don't let life stress you out. You're too blessed to be stressed. And I want you to say, like the songwriter, don't worry, be happy, sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. And God will take you places you never thought you'd go. He delivered Job. Job ended up having double of what he lost. His wife told him, why not just curse God and die? Job would not do it. He knew who he served. He prayed not for himself, but he prayed for everyone. And God delivered. Guess what? He'll do the same for you. Don't stress. You're too blessed. Don't worry, be happy. Know that, claim that. And until next week, keep the victory in sight and be happy. 
reason that I have written Victory in Sight is because I believe that once you accept Jesus Christ in your life, you are victorious. And I compare being a Christian today with being an athlete. You see, because athletes must condition and train their bodies constantly, day in and day out. They must focus mentally as well as physically. And this is the same thing that Christians must do. But when we do that, truly we see victory in sight. The first poem tonight is entitled, I Shall Give and Follow. I shall give to my Lord my all in all. And then I shall wait to hear his call. If I give all I've got, I can never fail. For when I deal with my father, my ship is sure to sail. My strength is great. I am not weak. And as I walk with the Lord, I walk at my peak. I am built of stone. No evil can break. I shall never be broken. My Lord, I shall never forsake. He has given me hope to bear each hour. He has given me strength, given me power. As I walk in his steps, others shall follow. His powers are strong, his waters not shallow. And never has his love for mankind ever been hollow. To my Lord, my God, I shall give and follow. 